Yo, what is going on, you slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, coming at you with a little bit of a random Yu-Gi-Oh news on this uh, Sunday here. So, um, there's quite a bit of um, just randomness to go through. So, we're gonna start things off by, um, uh, I guess, in the if any of you follow the the manga, uh, the Arc V manga specifically, uh, I guess new DDD monsters or DD monsters have been announced. Um, they're they're not like confirmed to be getting like actual uh, prints of cards, but um, it's more to let us be genuinely aware of um, that the, the, there's more DD monsters that could be coming out in the future. So if uh, any of you are a fan of that archetype, maybe look out for that. So I got a bit of uh, counter fairy news here for any counter fairy fans. Um, I'm definitely one of them. Uh, once when the deck comes out, I will. I'm definitely um, interested in playing that out uh, or playing the deck. Uh, so I've been kind of slowly getting um, some older cards, uh, some counter traps that uh, I think could be useful. Kind of play testing around with it online and stuff. Uh, my buddy's got uh, three Ulti uh, Artemis, and he's got two secret rare first edition. Um, uh, what is that thing? Um, Arch Lord Christia, there we go, which is actually the other card, but I'll show that in a second. But the first card that um, has been confirmed for the structure deck is Athena. It is a level 7 um, light fairy monster, 26 attack, 800 defense. Each time a fairy monster is summoned, you get to inflict uh, 600 points of damage to your opponent. So, it, you know, it's got uh, that, that random GX uh, kind of burn damage that a lot of cards had for some reason, but... Um, I guess they just wanted to slap multiple effects onto cards in the GX era, and one of them was just to get uh, burn damage for whatever reason. But it's a uh, other effect. Uh, it's a once per turn. You can send one face-up fairy-type monster you control to the graveyard, except Athena. Then target one fairy monster in your graveyard, except Athena, and special summon it. So it, it's not too bad. You have to <clears throat> send one that you already control. So, um, I don't know, there, you, you, you can try to, I guess, replace it and make a slightly beefy board. Um, I personally, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Athena, so I'm, I'm not going to be playing this. I don't think a lot of people will, but, uh, Athena did get a confirmation that it's getting a reprint in the Counter Fairy Structure deck, which leads to the, um, the second card that got, uh, um, confirmation for that Structure deck, which is Archlord Christia. There it is. The boss monster fairies, this thing, um, like, so good, <clears throat> excuse me there, this thing is so good, it's got a ton of effects, it's a boss monster that, it, if your opponent drops this on you, you are in some serious trouble, that is for sure, um, uh, a few effects here, if you have exactly four fairy monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand, uh, I know this was ran a lot in, like, Herald of Perfection, when Herald first came out, and... Harold with this thing was almost pretty much a guaranteed win because Harold's going to negate whatever and Christia basically says you can't special summon. So yeah, try to get over that. You can't. But um, another effect, the second one here. If it's summoned uh, this way from the first effect, you can target a fairy monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it, going back to the Harold thing, it, it gave Harold more materials to... Uh, um, I guess, you know, negate stuff with, which was a powerful combo, uh, which is very awesome. Um, of course, the third effect I already went through, uh, neither player can special summon monsters. Uh, and then the last one, if this card would be, if this face-up card would be sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to place it on top of your deck instead. So, essentially, if, if your opponent somehow gets rid of it, uh, and you still have those four fairies in the graveyard again, next turn draw it, special it, and all over again, your opponent's got to worry about trying to get rid of this thing. But, um, yep, that's a little bit of counter fairy news that I got for you. And that leads to the next part of the random news, which is the V-Jump promo has been announced for next month, which is a Link monster uh, called Security Dragon. And um, let's scroll down here a little bit. Uh, so, uh, Security Dragon is a Link Link to light cybers monster. Its links are uh, top and bottom, so uh, it's not the best markers. But um, let's see what its effect is. Clash, you can go away, please. Come on, go away, or don't. There you go. All right. Um, does it have an effect yet? 
Oh, okay, right there it says it's a new a new cyber sphere. Its effect is secret. Okay, so uh, we don't get to know the effect quite yet, but um, we've got a new that's that that's the uh, V Jump promo for next month. Um, the artwork kind of looks pretty sick on it. Um, I'm kind of digging. It's like a little little mechanical dragon type thing. So I you know it does look kind of cool. I I do like the artwork. That's for sure. Um, let's see what else we got for you here. Um, so we, get, we do got this, um, from Extreme Forces, uh, pictures from the V-Jump have surfaced, uh, for a couple new archetypes, uh, Tin Dangle, okay, Tin Dangle and Jack Knights, uh, I haven't looked at these quite yet, I heard some people saying Jack Knights, Jack Knights could be pretty decent, but, um, I guess we got a couple rarity confirmation, um, so here we go, we got, I guess, uh, Tin Dangle, I'm not gonna go over all the effects because that would just take forever. I'll just link this website down in the description in case you guys want to go read it yourself. But um, looks like Ting Dangles get their own um, Link monster, which is, and it's, what is that, a Link 3. Uh, markers point up and then down to the left and right uh, corners. So diagonal ones. So it's got three links, uh, three Link markers it is. Um, it's an ultra rare, so that's interesting. Uh, got a couple other Ting Dangle cards. Uh, all commons. Uh, we got Tindangle Hound here, which is a rare. It's a lot of levels. Um, or, yeah, it's what, like a level 7 that was. Uh, we got Intruder. We got, oh, we got the, uh, themselves a Continuous Spell card here. Uh, do they have anything else? They got a, uh, is that a field spell? Yeah, they got their own field spell too. Okay, that, that'll that be interesting. I can't wait to, to kind of read what these effects actually are, you know, for English-wise. But, um... Let's see, they got a common, oh, that must be the trap card. Um, all right, then we go into the Jack's Knight stuff, and they also get their own uh, Link monster. Uh, link 3, and it's Link markers point diagonal down left, diagonal down right, and then straight down. So that's that's pretty helpful. That's pretty handy. Um, it's an ultra rare. They got a, uh, another monster, what is that, a 5 star there? Jack Knight of the Blue Sky, super rare. Okay, um, getting a, uh, at least another hollow there. Then they got quite a few commons, it looks like. Jack Knight of the Flickering Flame. Jack Knight of the Crimson Lotus. Jack Knight of the Yellow Flower. Okay, so they got they got a few monsters there to play with. Um, looks like they get their own field spell as well. Uh, looks like they got the uh, Continuous Spell card as well. And is that a Continuous Trap card there at the bottom too? All right, so um, yeah, we got, uh, we got a few things here. Um, just random news, random Sunday news. I was going to do a deck list today, but I... Uh, I'm still waiting on a couple cards, so I can't quite do it yet, but hopefully next weekend I come up with a deck list, um, and I'll, I, hopefully I can post that, as long as I get the stuff. Uh, I'm having terrible luck lately, post it when I, I, I'll buy a few things online here and there, but uh, from TCG Player, and lately, like five of my last six orders have all been messed up somehow. Um, one shipped, but it never left the post office, and I had to file a dispute and all that. Uh, one sent me the wrong cards. <laughs> Somebody also sent me, uh, I ordered two of a specific card. They only sent me one and I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So I'm, I'm, I'm done buying cards online. So, uh, yeah, that, so that's in case you guys are wondering why I haven't done any deck profiles lately. I've been waiting on a few cards and my orders keep getting messed up for whatever reason. I don't know, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much just going to wrap up, uh, this little video here for, uh, the Sunday news. Uh, Sunday random news, I guess. So, um, yep. Uh, thanks again for everybody who's watching this. Hopefully, uh, you learned something. Um, hopefully, you found it entertaining, or maybe not entertaining, but informative at least. But um, that's pretty much going to be it for my video today. And um, I guess I will catch you guys on the next upload. Peace out.